my name's Jake. Catherine Chamberlain. <laughs> and this is our bus, Rhoda. Rhoda's a 98 International. We got her from New Mexico. Um, reason why we picked her up, we were looking for a bus more like in a dry state so we didn't, wouldn't have any rust issues. She had about 150,000 miles on it and um, so far I haven't had any problems with her. Just changed the oil and we're good to go. Let's go on in. So we'll start off in the living room area. Um, we decided to go with uh, two futon style beds. These actually fold out. And I built legs underneath. But what we did down here is put drawer guides. So I'll pull it back up. And then you can kind of get a look back here if you want about where the drawer guides are. And this one will actually fold out and there's about a four to six inch gap in between so they don't touch each other but we kind of needed that because our kids require breathing treatments morning and night so I needed a spot for the their cords to come up through each kid has their own drawer for their clothes and then our spoiled one has a, a drawer for all his toys um, and then in here we just have like electronics and video game stuff. We lived in a small town about two hours from here while we were doing it. So um, we slowly did it and then we knew we wanted to move from there. So we weren't living in it full time up there. And then we knew as soon as we were done with school that we wanted to have this ready so we could move in full time. And so this is where we'll stay now. And then far as, as far as insulation, I didn't do anything to the ceiling. Um, it has about an inch and a half, I believe, of the standard insulation that the buses come with. But from the windows down and underneath the bus, I didn't do a subfloor. Um, I spray foamed underneath, which was a nightmare because it all dropped on me. But it, I got it up in there pretty good. And it actually, I spray foamed around all of the PEX piping, the plumbing too, so that's all insulated. Um, so from here on down, it's all spray foamed. And I, brought, I bought a, a spray foam kit from Foam It Green. Um, it ran me about 750 bucks and it was perfect. It was just, just the right amount of uh, spray foam. I actually had some left over. And as far as the AC goes, so I went with the Dometic Penguin 2. So this is a 13,500 BTU unit. It's the low profile. We tried to do as many outlets as possible. So we've got one here, we've got one down in the drawer. I have a power strip down power there in the, in the drawer. Yeah, we've got them anywhere really where we could have them without being too excessive. <laughs> we wanted something that had character, you know, because um, I could have just went to Home Depot and bought regular lumber. But where I was at, there was an old hardware store with old pallets that were selling for a dollar a piece. And so I went through with the Sawzall and just cut them all up. And then from there, um, you know, we just cut it to, to length. And then my wife stained them. Uh, we just went with like a gray stain, a natural. Kind of mix and match and play with it, you know. You can mix yeah, them up. Yeah, that was tough because when we used the colors the first time, it was just too much, too dark, so I had to mix it with natural. And it was kind of like a process of figuring out what was not gonna be too overpowering. So that yeah. was kind of a trial and error thing too. <laughs> it's bumpy. <laughs> I've heard other people say, hey, it's bumpy, you get used to it, you know. It's like driving a regular, I mean, it's nothing's too uh, out of the ordinary with it. It's automatic. All right, so moving down to the kitchen area. Okay, so the kitchen area, we knew we wanted to go with something lighter for the countertop. IKEA actually has good countertops. Um, they are almost half the price. Uh, has some extra left over, so there's some shelves up here. So the stove is propane. It's an Amana um, that we ordered through Home Depot. Let's go over to the sink. So 
we knew we wanted a farmhouse apron sink. We opted to go with the cast iron, and the only company we found that sold that was a Kohler, the Kohler company. Uh, these are some pretty big drawers, so we have quite a bit of space for things, actually more than, more than we need. I boxed in the fridge to kind of hide it, give it that look. We want the Whirlpool. Uh, I want to say this is a, it's either a 10 to 11 cubic foot. Um, it is electric. So this opening is wider than the, the toilet opening. So I had to build a leaflet that comes out. And here we have our toilet. Um, and it's, uh, we went with the RV toilet, a Dometic RV toilet. For our shower, um, we ended up using a uh, glass tile um, with stone for our bench and the floor. Um, this bench, uh, we, this goes over the wheel well on the other side, so we needed to utilize that space. All right, so over here we have more storage, um, towels, linens. Uh, we have our hamper down in here. Um, and then on this side, um, pantry. Our microwave's actually up in here. Back here, uh, we have the bedroom. And I actually have this hinged to where this will all lift up. There's storage underneath here. If you fold it this way, um, there's storage all on that side too. And then if you can get down here, we have our clothes right down in here. Back over here, we have our overhead storage. There's so much stuff in there, obviously. Yeah. That was one of the things I was concerned about the most is storage. And so I was really happy that we did this because it just makes it so much easier for things that we don't use all the time, right. but that we know that we need. So it's great. And these are soft clothes as well. Yeah, we did these shadow boxes. So there's outlets in there so we can charge our phones and devices at night. Um, and this, this is my favorite part of the bus because <laughs> I can close that door and kind of just get some peace and quiet, you know, when you need it. Sleeping next to the windows is awesome because it's like you're camping, but then you're in your home. So yeah, you it's get nice the to best look of both out worlds. the windows. Yeah. Yeah. So the flooring we went with, um, it's, we got it from Home Depot. It's a uh, vinyl and it's uh, the life proof line that they have. So it's supposed to be scratch proof, waterproof. And so far we love it. All right, so we showed you the interior. Let's go check out the back, which we call it the garage. <laughs> All right, so this is the back of the bus, our storage area. Back here, we have our electrical box, the panel, all the breakers. Uh, we got our tankless water heater. It's 6.6 uh, .6 gallons per minute on demand, so you'll never run out of hot water. Um, it's propane, which our propane tank is under here. Um, and that's gonna run our stove, our water heater, and the RV furnace. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you wanna keep following us on all of our adventures, then, uh, Visit our Instagram, On The Road Again, and our YouTube channel that's linked below. We'd love it if you guys uh, followed along and went on the journey with us. <laughs>